think we both feel like honored to be in that position and, and it's beautiful that we're able to move people like that. Wherever they are, wherever they come from, a lot of the fans that watch this series feel like they are a part of it in some way and that's beautiful. Yeah, it means a lot to us. On my part, I think um, I've learned a lot about the importance of communication because uh, that's something that um, Wilhelm's always had a problem with that. Um, and that's because of his like heritage and, and the, the situation he's in, but the importance of talking to your peers and, and uh, talking to professional if that's needed, it's, I think that's taught me a lot. To like uh, get more comfortable and confident in your own self. Yeah. Uh, that's something that has helped I think both of us yeah. in, in, in different ways. Um, yeah, being being intimate or or doing specific scenes in front of a camera, you, knowing the world is gonna watch, uh, is something that helps your your confident in yourself. Probably for me, the the football field scene. Um, Sorry, it's soccer here in the U.S., but, um, <laughs> but um, that that field scene is is um, that means a lot to me. I think both in the way we we shot it and what we learned from shooting it, but also the way um, it like resonated with with the audience feels strong. The scene, the first it's the first time uh, Villa sees Simon when he's singing in the church with the, the school choir. It was the first time I I did a singing scene with Simon and the choir for, for the series. Yeah. And it was really cool when I was st standing there. Like, first time ever I'm shooting a series or a movie, whatever, singing like a church full of people. And it was just so cool. Yeah. No. Uh, <laughs> no, it wasn't. No, definitely um, not. Um, I mean, Wilhelm and Simon's Kiss is, is very, it's very, um, um, what would you call it? Like, they're, they're, um, God, what's the word? They're like trying, they're like uh, seeing what works for them, what's comfortable for them. Is this allowed? Am I in love with this guy? What do I feel? For us, it was during um, a rehearsal. And oh, wait, you mean? The first time we yeah yeah, yeah. in real life in Omar, oh yeah. no, I thought but I thought you meant like uh, me in my life and you and your like yeah that's what I mean oh you, you that's what you mean yeah. oh oh okay so well, like still my no. first kiss <laughs> and his first kiss correct yeah uh, well uh, no it was not like that at all um, um, I never heard about your first kiss I don't really know what counts as a first kiss my first kiss was in front of the camera too I realize now. My first kiss was when I was very, very, very young. But okay. that does not even count, I guess. <laughs> so I don't, I, really, I, don't, I don't really know what my first kiss was. My first kiss was with, uh, uh, she's now one of my best friends, or my, like one of my oh, absolute best friends. Yeah. Was that your first yeah, kiss? Yeah, we did this uh, short film uh, and we were at this big like arena in Stockholm and uh, it's like a dream sequence kind of and I like running down to the to the dressing rooms and I see her and then we, we kiss and we're like 12 years old so <laughs> um, yeah it was in front of the camera too so no not like Will and Simons it was uh, a bit less magical yeah same here <laughs> well for me uh, with Simon it was pretty cool to when I read the script for the first time uh, reading what he was, how he was handling the Marcus and Wilhelm situation. When he did what he did and how he handled the whole thing, for me it was like, oh, interesting because I thought, well, not thought, but Simon is a good boy and he, he does everything the right way and he's responsible, but he's not. And that's really interesting to, to see that he's just a teenager as well. 
we let develop so quickly and so much this second season and and uh, that's very very interesting but i was pretty mad at the way he acted during the first part of the first few episodes i thought it was super selfish and and ignorant and stupid um not picking up hints and such and being just a pain in the ass towards simon um and his friends so um but it was quite interesting to see the way he developed during the during the story well i think it's going to be interesting to see the way they interact with each other because yeah f for the first time in in Young for Royal's Royal. history, <laughs> they're they're like they're going at the problem together, um, but the question remains: like, are they going to be able to do that, um, and what's going to happen yeah. between them? Yeah, and it's a really we're in a it's super early still yeah. when it, in the process, um, and uh, yeah, I cannot wait to to speak to our our head writer Lisa mm -hmm. and to um, read the script and see what's gonna happen but I uh, me personally not knowing anything I just hope that I get to see them happy yeah of course that would do. be yeah. that would be so cute to see them like <laughs> living what they actually want how they want to live yeah uh, but I still want some drama though it gotta be some spice <laughs> yeah of course <laughs>